Hey guys, how we doing? Man, today's a great day out here once again. It's beautiful. It's a great day. And I thought today, you know what I talked to you about is a little bit something different. And that's the, the five heads of the snake within the art. Because there's many different snake forms and different type of snake applications and so forth. But today, I thought I would just touch um, a little bit upon you with the different snake heads and so forth with, within the art. So, the basic snake head of what we would always work on would be this type of a snake head here to where the, the arm is slightly bent and so forth. And that could be shot from short, medium, long, and extra long. And anytime you're doing the snake, especially if you're bending over, the bottom leg here that's straightened out or slightly bent is the tail of the snake. So after you would strike with the snake, the tail would come into trip, bind, uh, kick, and so forth. So um, a basic exercise was this, where we go left, right, and we would call this uh, brother, sister, this type of a, of a different type of striking patterns. And there's all different type of um, techniques and one and two man sets from that to where the guy blocks and comes over with his snake. He comes in, you block, and come over, it's rebounding and striking. And the way these would work would be, you would start it with your circle coming out then your circle coming in, and then your your breaking circles and so forth, and then your your cross legs to where here you would, you would cross leg, turn, come around and strike. Um, many different techniques working with this type of a head, and it's mainly striking to the underarms, to the side of the neck, to the front of the throat. This type, also slapping and coming around and striking. Many 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 different combinations, but let's not get into that. Let's get into the snake, second head. Now the second head of the snake you'll see, which is most commonly used, where you guys use your blocks and so forth, is the snake head where the finger is pointed like this. And what that represents is striking to the eyes and once again to the soft parts, which could be underneath the arms, inside of the leg, striking to the crotch, palm to the crotch, coming up to the eye. You'll see this type of emotion where you're coming over the top. Um, when you're blocking with your left hand and you're coming over the top, it's going to have a different... Um, meaning that it would say a tiger doing that same motion because a tiger will bring bring his weight down so that you come into him and then smash you in the face with that open hand with the snake he'll let you come in he'll move it and then come in with a quick strike to the eyes this is an artistic expression of what i'm telling you a lot of these applications to make them actually work means you have to put a ton of time into them many many hours and work all the different variables and surroundings of footwork that go with the particular animal or technique that you're working on because you, it's just not one way in the art there's hundreds and thousands of different ways you can do the combinations break it down and use them so this is the second snake head and so forth this is also used as the arrow point where the arrows would shoot it's the same type of a hand um, it's just with the arrow it's a little bit more stiff the arrow form as opposed to a snake form which is a little bit more loose and moving and so forth evading the snake will evade and then strike on an angle with this type of a point of a head so now you have one and now we come with two now the third snake head is not actually a head but it's the fangs of the snake this is also similar to a dragon hand where it's two dragons trying to catch the pearl but we're using this as the fangs and how that's used is in conjunction with the kick where if you're firing you might have seen that on the black belt cover that he was on where he's crushing and he's firing that that leg and that hand at the same time. You'll also see that out of the falling leaf and how that's used is a blocking motion and then striking to the eyes or strike strike to the eyes and so forth. So this is basically uh, a double